What's up YouTubers 1 and all, minus Fate Knight to 87, and today we're taking a look at the second to last Age of Extinction set, or third to last if I end up getting Decepticon uh, Replicator. This is Grimlock Street Attack. This is 196 pieces and contains Gold Knight Optimus Prime, which is a toy line exclusive thing, not anything at all that happened in the movie, and two vehicles. So yeah, that's basically it. So let's open it up. Once again, feels nice to have old sets that I used to have. Also, this is also the second to last, not only the second to last Asian Station set I've yet to collect, but also the second to last Creo set I used to own. Because I don't remember anything else after after uh, after this one and Battleship Alien Strike. Which, yeah, that is self-explanatory. So, let's open it up. So, in here, we find pieces, 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 two different, uh, Viacons, even though the, it's mainly the weapons is the difference. Head of Grimlock, Gold-Eyed Optimus, and Instruction booklet. And there are no stickers. What a first. I just jinxed myself. There are tiny ass stickers. So first they actually want us building the Viacons. Specifically the missile one first. So. Sure. Why not? I still have yet to get uh, the Dino Hauler. Fortunately, I'm bidding, so I can't really get anything else at the moment. On top of that, I hope I don't win it. I, there's all right. If I manage my money well, I don't have to throw anything aside. So, yeah, there's the six Viacom we have now. Officially with a fucking bazooka. And then why is this Viacom the one that comes with a Creo brick? I don't know. But it's a generic gun. Nothing more, nothing less. His head is still stuck in there. Wow. And that fell off screen entirely. Okay. I did not just put that as his head. What? Okay, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Also, I'm not facing down like I should be. Ah, Camera pain. Okay, so we got the backpack on. I'm really tempted on getting the Viacons, every single one of them. Why did yours fall off? Nah, buddy, you stay. You stay on. And this is the seventh Viacon. We now have two Viacons left to collect, along with Ratchet and Cade. Oh, and the Optimus Prime build, because why not? And speaking of Optimus, here's the Gold Knight variant. Which, everything besides this piece is in gold. What the hell? Though it's not gold plastic, otherwise we'd have gold plastic syndrome on our hands. No, it's just gold painted plastic. There's a difference. And to be honest, a spear wasn't his his weapon. It was a sword. So I may need to find a transform a sword that can fit him because this ain't working. This ain't working at all. And 
yeah, comparison to his actual movie counterpart. This has more detail in it. Like, look at that. This is just simply... Like, what the fuck is this exactly? This is more detailed. This is just... What, what, what is this detail? That's not in the movie. This, this is from the movie. I don't know. All right. Right away, we have stickers. Right away. Also, we have Grimlock, so... Yeah, we're going to be building stickers. Not not building stickers. We're going to be building this set. We have stickers. Yeah, unlike the last set where the uh, cage build was... Uh, most of the set, it's the other way around, where Grimlock is most of the set. And I do like that. I do like that. Though, and again, I just like the fact that I had almost all the Dinobots back then, and now I have every single one of the movie Dinobots now. In fact, I will actually be doing side comparison as soon as this video is over. Or videos, this is a two-parter, because that's how it works. Alright, so first off, we need to do is find the bricks responsible for and just kind of put the stickers on. Like, just put the stickers on right off the bat. Like, no need to wait. Put the stickers on and kill the sticker sheep. As if I can even get them out. There we go. So, here's one. And here's two. So simple. Like, wow. Okay, so we're going to build the arch first because that's what we got to do. The arch because this set, the reason why it does the arch thing is because this actually references the TV, the, the Super Bowl trailer spot. That's literally what this set is. It is literally just a reference for the Super Bowl slash the movie. And it's possibly the most accurate it can get to the movie. Because right after he smashes through, he starts chomping on, on Decepticon, or on uh, Viacons. So, by all technicality, this is the most, this is the most, um, accurate set of the entire movie. Everything else from, from some way, one way or another, is incorrect. And this is also the closest we're going to get to a Creo Hong Kong. I should really get more actual building sets. Like, uh, well, then again, Cityville was just full of them. But I mean, like, actual Creon, not mini Creon uh, building sets. Like with actual buildings. Okay, so now they want us to start building the arch. Fantastic. There's a lot of gold in the set, I kid you not. Ow. I kind of like the pagoda like feel that it's going for like the feudal Japan type ish thing because Hong Kong is China China Japan not kind of 
similar, but not really. Then we have this piece all of a sudden. And this is basically half of the gimmick right here. Right here. And with this, it is just a matter of So we're going to leave that right that for now, and then we're going to build the other half. Right here. Right here. Bam. And we're out of red pieces. <laughs> And then what we're supposed to do is we put these on. And these kind of soft lock into place. So basically, you can just... I mean, it was supposed to... Here. Here. Alright, and that's basically the gist of the gimmick. So... We got the pagoda. We're going to leave it right there for now. So yeah. That's the first part of the set done. Now we're on to Grimlock. We're going to start building the body first. And that's probably what's going to end this video as well is the body, but we'll get to that when we get to. And he's gold and blue, which really kind of disturbs me a bit. I'm going to be completely honest, I think the gold and blue is a terrible mix for Grimlock. Gold and red, I would have much preferred. But it does reference his G1 colors. But as it stands, nope, we are stuck with gold and blue. Which is not a good color color combination if, if I'm gonna be completely honest. This ain't really a good color combination. Yeah. Also, this is the biggest Dinobot of this of the of the entire thing, and of course, it, it shows because this is a Grimlock. Of course, he should be the biggest. And then there's Di and then there's Grimlock unleashed with a G1 Grimlock that's even bigger. Fantastic.
So yeah, am I stoked for getting other sets? Maybe. Just maybe. But I really need to stop season two because this is, it is getting out of hand. And I I don't like I don't like it that it's getting out of hand. I'm gonna be completely honest, it's starting to feel a lot like I'm building underbite all over again with the parts on the side that could easily pop off. It's like Grimlock can't transform like underbite, and underbite was one of the last Creo sets to be built before the written one, the last big Creo set to be built before they just shut it down entirely. And when I mean last as Creo set, I mean like an actual brand new one, not a re-release. So yeah, the fact that Un Underbite is one of the best ones of the last wave is... And he's 189 pieces. Well, that's the entire set, but it's 198 pieces. That's two pieces more than Grimlock's 3 attack. Only problem is Grimlock's 3 attack had the full set. Underbite does not, and I found a listing where it has all five of the Roas and Disguise sets for sale, but I'm like, why would I get the same sets over twice now? Like, why? If I were get the same set twice, it'd be to turn into something else entirely, and I'm not that creative. Though, then again, I was the one who created a brand new, uh, mock design for uh, combined devastator so and that's using the um that is using the all six combiner uh micro changer bots by themselves no extra pieces from anywhere else and of course in order to make it work you sadly have to clip some of the jackets but it is a necess it is quite honestly not that bad in the end because who really gives a fuck about those jackets cuz they they cover the designs they cover the chest designs and it doesn't it doesn't look good in the end And I have a feeling that after this step, we are officially going to do the limbs. And when we do the limbs, that is most likely the end of part one of Grimlock Street Attack. Let me flip quickly. Yup. Yup. I'm correct. I'm absolutely correct. So. We're going to be building the... Okay, not these ones. I need the regular tubes. The regular, not the uh, not the ones with the holes. And we're gonna get take these, and yeah, this set is starting to show its age just a tad bit. Okay, so this is the first gun, and we're going to do the second gun and end this video.
Ah, oh, shit. Come on, where did it go? I hate it when pieces fall on the floor. Because half the time I don't know where they fall. And why did Slash get decapitated? Why did Hangnail get decapitated and amputated? Damn. What kind of fucking Lego violence is going on underneath my bed? There we go. I'm trying to find it, guys. Hang on. You know what? I will be right back until I actually find it. I'm not wasting time in the video. Found it. These go right here, both of them. And is it me, or does Optimus have a fucking throne on top of Grimlock? Like, look at this, it looks like a fucking throne. Armrests and all. And, yep, this is where one of the big problems that I remember from this set, actually, way back then. These ball joints are so tight. That they're going to end up popping off the guns. That was the problem back then. And yeah, that is part one of the set. So, uh, just kind of put that there like that so it doesn't fall over. <sighs> set so it doesn't fall over. Got it. There, Grimlock's head is holding it up. Sort of. Okay, that's it for part one. Thank you all for watching. The next part is going to be building the rest of Grimlock. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking notifications to be updated on all updates and videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, till all are one.